And you've been um, CFO now for well over a decade in terms of public company CFO. How have you seen the role of all? Technology has become such an important part of all of our lives. Not that it wasn't before, but I think technology has just evolved in, in such a way that as a CFO, you have to embrace that. And if anything, technology has enabled CFOs to go deeper into different parts of the business and to partner with CEOs, to partner with the board, and to partner with business units, and to partner with the company to really think about value and value creation. CFOs are getting better at looking ahead, better at sort of contemplating all of the variables. And with the tools that we have, we're able to do a better job forecasting, analyzing, and hopefully being helpful to executing you know, with the company, and then partnering in ways that are very helpful to creating value. And in that way, I think the role itself is a little more forward-looking than where it's been historically. Can you contrast your current CFO role um, versus the, your very first CFO role going all the way back to Continental? Sure. Obviously different industry, but yeah. the roles themselves are otherwise pretty similar. Yeah, I think fundamentally it's about partnering. And, and you know, with Continental, for instance, it was, okay, how do we optimize within different confines? Because obviously we weren't growing. Your growth was dictated more by sort of what your, what your aircraft deliveries were like, what the economy was like. So it was more dependent on other things. But you still had engagement with whether it's business units, operations, and how you thought about strategy, the board, investors, and others. In technology, what's, what's interesting and just different is the growth profile tends to be a little different. Your balance sheet looks a little different. But there's still that demand for execution and performance. So it's how we engage. In this case, it's how I engage with a number of you know, workmates at, at, uh, at Workday in order for us to really deliver what we believe we can deliver. And then how do I engage with the street, the board? And with the role evolving, I mean, how does that change your relationship with those C-suite peers or does it? Oh, it definitely does. I think as things are so dynamic and there's so much to learn, you need to always understand what others are thinking about. And I think there are a number of networks out there and there are just a number of peers that you can call. You always need to have three or four plus CFOs or just people in finance or people that you look to for that kind of guidance to see, hey, what are they seeing? How are they thinking about things? And, and they're not just CFOs, but others that you lean on, whether it's, you know, retired CEOs or board members or candidly anybody, even as, as I mentioned earlier, you know, people who are still in school, they're getting incredible knowledge from others within their field. And there are a lot of people doing some really interesting things. And I reach out to them as well for great ideas. Good. How about you talked about um, you know, over time, the role evolving, how does that change your relationship with the boards that you've worked with, audit committees, audit chairs? You know, CFOs need to understand what are, what's the board thinking about? What are investors thinking about? How do we think about regulation? And there's so much more that you have to really pair with others in, on the management team to really think about how are we going to navigate some of these more challenging topics and tasks? How do we navigate that as a team? Who's doing what? And how do we make sure that we're driving the business forward? And you know, that's an opportunity, whether it's engagement with your board, audit committees, and others, to learn from what others have done, lean into technology, and, and continue to advance the business. 